Hi, welcome to this video. This is a video of the Sip QT100 unboxing. Okay, so this is the brand new Sip QT100 forward slash 10 compressor. Build quality on this thing is actually really, really nice. So, this is it now unboxed and ready for assembly. So, I just need the wheels on, the carry bar, and the filters. So, quite simple bolts, filters, and these for that. Now, a bit of a pain in the ass, really come boxed up obviously it's a very heavy item and you'd have thought they'd have had a piece of cardboard that would slip off the top but no you've got a cut on each side because there is no way I think even with two of you struggle with the, like, how heavy that is but yeah first impression has looked pretty good a big label saying 59 decibels so I'm hoping it's quiet. We've got um, a 24 litre compressor to compare it to later. It's quite neat, it looks like 3D printing, almost. Not a lot of research has gone into um, into this purchase, so we shall uh, have a look. So let's get the wheels on it, get the bar on it, get the filters on, and the big test. Does she run? So that's it fully assembled. It says five minutes, but probably was about five minutes. It's pretty simple. It's just put the handle on, put the wheels on. I advise you to try and get someone to help you put the wheels on because it's very heavy. And put the air filters on. Now, this is good old trusty. So, this is the Aldi 24 litre. Um, compressor which if I remember rightly I bought this in 2015 maybe 2016 and I've used it for everything but you know now's the time it's, it's too loud um, it's had one too many old changes and it's starting to not perform as it used to do which is fair enough I mean I think I paid £60 for it so that's had its day and that will be put in the corner as a backup the size difference is astronomical, um, 100 litres, 24 litres, um, even the build quality, you know, you can see the welding, you know, the, the, the top, it's, this is made by SIP, so it's, it's, it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be uh, crud, shall we say, fingers crossed. So, a few little things, manual. Pretty simple, but I looked at the air filters and it said something about, you know, let me find it. There. See image, page three. Cause it got quite tight. Page three, no image. So there's a few, you know, bits you've got to try and figure out, but it's not too hard. Troubleshooting. Hopefully we'll need that. And there is a parts list and an exploded diagram. So if ever something goes wrong, you can go back to SIP and you can say, I need number 10 on this diagram. Or whatever. So why have I chosen this compressor? There are the specs. So, nice and quiet. And the free air delivered is 10.8. I had a lot of research on this um, CFM, FAD, and I want something quiet. A lot of, a lot of things um, say that the 14.6 CFM 
Now, that's absolutely fine, but the FAD is the one that matters because that's what's at your air tool. Um, so, cut a long story short, I went for quiet, I went for an FAD that was ideally over 10 and with a budget of around £400 in mind and this came in under £400. It's a brand new um, item, I don't think there's many of these um, seen around as a few different models, as a 50 litre, um, I opened it out between the 50 and the 100 but the 100 has got a better CFM, um, obviously dual motor and yeah so compared to that so just going back to specs for a minute obviously we've got down here 14.6 cfm which is the piston display the piston displacement so cfm quoted is the piston displacement it's what's at the piston not what's at the air tool and you go along to old trust it and the CFM 9.5. Now the FAD on this is, I think they say it's about a third less than what your CFM is. So you're talking six and a bit, which, you know, it runs most tools. Um, there's a couple of impact guns that I've got, it won't run. Um, so, yeah. I think I'm going to be quite pleasantly surprised between the performance of that versus that. But obviously that is about seven times as much as what that was so let's start them up so i've not filled either of these up yet so as you can tell zero 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 it's still got the original stickers on <laughs> so i'm going to plug both of these in i'm going to start the aldi compressor off So, the difference is unbelievable. I can't hear myself think of that one, but with that, that's ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. I think it's going to take a while. So if you're using air tool on this for a constant time and that's filling up that you're using air tool, I think you'll use, I think you'll hear the air tool more than what you would compressor, quite honestly. You know, that is superb. <laughs> How quiet that is. It's going to take a while to fill up though. So, my first impression of that SIP compressor is actually really, really good. Um, I've got a decibel meter on my phone and it averaged about 70 decibels, but that was like camera close to it. Obviously, if you're in an open environment and not in a closed garage, it will be a lot quieter. But compared to 97 decibels, it's an absolute breath of fresh air. 10 bar operating pressure, FAD at 10.6. And the money, the price. I mean, I look online and you look at Hyundai, I think Hyundai do some um, 50 litres, a 50 litre compressor, but 
nowhere near the FAD for how quiet it is. I mean, it looks like a similar setup, similar motors, but it's just not. I can't really compare it to honest, but anyone out there who's got a Hyundai, I'd love for you to compare this against to it because it's a piece of kit. Not used it in anger. I haven't plugged my airline into it, um, but I will be doing very soon. Got an impact gun to try, a couple of uh, pistol windies, um, and some air ratchets. But overall, very impressed. Um, yeah, highly recommended compared to Aldi. But, you know, if sound isn't your problem, then I'd go for something different because the only downside I, I can see is it doesn't fill up as quick as your conventional um, compressor. It does take a while. I'd never, I didn't, I didn't time it. I uh, got a bit bored, to be honest. So that's a SIP QC 104 slash 10 reviewed. Really impressed. Um, 100 litres, 10 bar, 10.8 FAD. Not used an anger yet, not timed it. Like from filling up from zero to full, I will um, come back with a video of it. You know, with a time of how long it takes to fill up. Because I know um, going through videos myself, that was a lot of people's questions: how long it takes to fill up and what's it like with constant use of air tools. So I will do something on that um, later down the line. But for now, um, if you've got any questions, comments, then please fire away. I'll do my best to help you. If anyone needs any like close up pictures or anything explaining then I'll do my very best. I'm not a professional, I'm just someone with a few hobbies in my garage who likes tinkering and yeah, so I hope you find this review really helpful. Thanks for watching.